What's up, guys? All right, so I'm here uh, watching the debate between Vegan Games, Roaming Millennial, Ranting Monkey, and some other guy I forgot his name. Um, it's crazy. They, they're they talking about ethics now, and there's a lot of arguments being thrown back and forth, and, you know, I'm pretty sure I have the crutch to veganism when I say this, and, you know, I think the whole thing, I completely agree when it comes to veganism and health, completely agree, but the ethical and moral arguments made in favor of veganism ultimately end up shooting themselves in the foot because I realize that a lot of vegans actually don't have a really solid foundation for their ethics that isn't subjective um, I know Richard from Vegan Gains has said himself in the past that he believes morality is objective to that I ask Richard what is your objective basis for morality? What do you point to to say that it's ethically wrong to kill another sentient being for food or even for pleasure? To what basis do you point to that isn't subjective, that isn't your individual preference, that isn't a societal preference? What is your ethical and moral foundation on which you're saying that killing an animal for food is wrong or for taste pleasure is wrong what are you pointing to besides yourself besides the way you feel besides any of them okay and then second uh his friend i forget his name in the debate he's making an ethical argument talking about what trait if you were to put it or take it away from a human uh would make it okay to eat a human for food Okay, and here's ultimately why that argument doesn't work. And it's because if you were to take any certain amount of traits from a human to make them be able to be eaten for food or taste pleasure, whatever your reasoning, that thing that you're talking about would not be a human anymore. It wouldn't be a human by nature. So you can't make that ethical argument for veganism because you can't do that logically speaking. Okay, we're dealing in in uh, terms of reality here, and you simply cannot do that when it comes to speaking about whether or not you could, if you were to do this to a human, you could eat a human then, because then what you would be eating would not be a human. Okay, we're talking about normal circumstances here. He brought up a retarded person. Even then, even with the retarded person, they still maintain a lot of characteristics of humanity, okay? Even though they don't have the mental capacity of somebody who's functioning normally. So with this being said, ethically and morally speaking, I don't believe veganism actually has a foot to stand on. And I want this to catch ground. I want somebody to get this to Richard and see what he responds to this and... Yeah, I mean, when you talk about objective morality, once again, you need to have a solid moral foundation. My question to you, Richard, is what is your solid moral foundation, your solid ethical foundation on which to say that you should not kill an animal? I am in complete agreement for the health reasoning of veganism. I do believe by this point that veganism is honestly the better choice when it comes to our health. But ethically and morally speaking, I do believe it is still acceptable to kill an animal if you choose to for food. If you want to, just because they freaking taste good. You know? So, yeah, that's that. And again, with the ethical arguments, just to repeat it for uh, just repeating sake, you cannot apply. It's not a double standard because at any certain point, if you were to take everything that encompasses humanity away from a human, that animal would then not be human. And thus, if you were to apply any sort of trait to an animal, which would put it on the same level as a human, then the animal would not be whatever it is. Because our nature is something that's implicit in our being. You cannot take that away. And again, still applies to mentally retarded, uh, Down syndrome. I mean, we can see with people who even lack brain capacity that they still uh, have a lot of humanistic function. 
but an animal will never be a human, you know? So you cannot make an animal equal to a human. We're just inherently not equal, okay? So that's that. If somebody wants to get this to Richard, go for it. I'm going to upload this, and we'll see if it catches any ground.